Hey guys, welcome and uh, today I'm going to show you how I do a hair rig. You only need a few things, you just need your hook link material, scissors, your braid stripper, hook, hair stopper, baiting needle and you need a boilie. So to start with you get your hook link and you want about 12 inches just to start with. You can get coated or uncoated depending on your preferences. I prefer coated. Then what you want to do is when you put it through a stripper, you just want to strip four inches off. So you just pull it through. So you see that is the... So as you see, there's the stripped braid and that's the coated area. So then what you want to do is do a small figure of a loop. So you fold it over, twist it, and you push this tag end back through, and then you just pull it tight. And you get your scissors, trim the tag end away, okay next thing, so the important part is you want to put your boilie on there now so then you know for a fact how long you want your hair on your hook, so you just get your boilie Thread the needle through. So you get the loop. Thread the needle through. Push the boilie, uh, boilie through. And you just need to put your hair stopper on. Normally, I fish with a size 6 wide gape hook if I'm using a hair rig and a 16mm boilie. For me that's just a perfect balance, good size hook for a good size boilie. But it's down to personal preferences, you can choose what size bait and what size hook you want. So when you put your hair stopper through, just pull the boilie through, uh, pull the hook link through. Now it's time to get the hook out. Now, for me, there's only one company that I use when it comes to hooks or end tackle, and that's Rigworks. And here's the size six wide gape. See how it's just razor sharp. You don't need to worry about sharpening it from the pack. What you do is you get the far end of your hook link, thread it through the back of the eye, the hook, and this is where you can adjust how long you want your hook, uh, your hair. Like so, you can have it shorter if you want it close, about there, or if you want it just a little bit longer. For me, I think that'd be good good distance to use. Then what I do is I try and tra I trap the hook link along the shank. Some people just don't bother but for me it's just a bit of peace of mind and you just wrap it round six to eight times. It's down to you how many times. And then you just thread it back through back of the hook back through the eye of the hook, sorry. So it's like so. And then what you do with this end is you do another figure of eight loop. 
So for me, I like to have it between like six to eight inches, so I'll be happy with that. So make a big loop. Go back on yourself, twist. And in this loop, you want to push it. So you've got this sort of hoop connection. You just pull it. Put it both ways so it's nice and tight. And then with the tag end, cut it away. And voila, that is how you do your standard hair rig.